Welcome to our Structural Geology Lab from Western University. We are here to show you how to set up a universal stage and how to integrate the stage into an optical microscope. The measurement and projection procedures of a U-stage will be explained in our next video. So a U-stage is often integrated into an optical microscope like this one. The microscope shown here is the Earth's least optical microscope. Here is a 4-axis universal stage. It consists of adjustable axes including the inner vertical axis IV, also known as A1, and two horizontal axes whose point of intersection lies in IV. These are called the north-south axis A2 and east-west axis on the right A4. A thin section is placed between the lower and upper hemispheres. The amount of rotation of any axis may be read from the graduated circles, including the IV readings from the A1 circle and the east-west axis reading from the A4 circle on the right. The readings of north-south axis A2 are shown in the left arm and the right arms from the microscope. Now let us show you how to set up a universal stage. Step 1. Place the U-stage on top of the microscope table and make sure it's placed properly so the east-west circle is on your right. Now fasten the front and back screws to secure the stage. Now place the metal plate that will be used for rotating IV. Place it at the center Make sure the screw holes are matching the screw holes underneath it. Step 2. Place your lower hemisphere at the center of the microscope. Make sure to add oil at each glass contact. In this lab, we're using glycerin. Open the bottle of glycerin and add a film of glycerin at the top of the hemisphere. In this case, one drop is enough. Place your thin section on top of your lower hemisphere and gently squeeze it to remove air bubbles. Now we're placing the upper hemisphere. Before doing this, don't forget to add another drop of glycerin on top of the thin section. You can now add your upper hemisphere on top of the thin section. Squeeze a little bit to remove air bubbles. Fasten the screws. Care must be taken not to secure the section so tightly that thin sections can't be moved. In step 3, we will place the objective lens into the microscope and match the objective lens with the vertical orientation of the microscope. First, place your objective lens into the microscope and secure it. Before adjusting the objective lens, make sure to lock all the readings to zero. Turn on your microscope and bring your grain under the crosshair intersection. A trial rotation of the microscope stage will indicate the amount of centering necessary. Stare at the grain while rotating the microscope stage. If the objective lens is not placed parallel to the vertical axis, the grain will move along a circle. We call it circle A. We can adjust objective lens by rotating the screws near the lens. In your field of view, rotate left and right screws so the crosshair intersection is moving towards the center of circle A. Repeat the step until the grain remains under crosshair intersection by rotating the microscope stage. 
as you can see from this field of view. Step 4. We should now adjust the inner vertical axis so it coincides with the microscope. In your field of view, follow step 3 to bring a targeted mineral under the intersection and check your circle A by rotating the inner vertical axis. You can adjust the inner vertical axis by rotating these two screws. Repeat the step until the green stays under the intersection while rotating the inner vertical axis. In step 5, we should concern the elevation of the thin section in relation to the plane uniform thickness. You can do this by rotate north-south axis. From the field of view, the grain is not under the crosshair intersection, so it needs to be fixed. The rim of glass plate can be adjusted using screws at the upper hemisphere. This will bring the thin section exactly into the plane defined by two horizontal axes. Now the adjustment steps are completed. Tilting around every adjustable axis, including the inner vertical axis, A1, the north-south axis, A2, the east-west axis, A4, and lastly, the microscope stage, A5. Either way, the targeted grain should always remain on their crosshair intersection. To control the movement of the thin section, a mini square is fastened to one side of the thin section, thus permitting the thin section to be shifted in parallel position across the field of view. The use stage is now ready to use.